Hey YouTube, Kira Qualia here, bringing you guys the new Cardfight Vanguard trial deck opening. I got the Aichi Sendo and the Toshiki Kai trial decks here to open for you guys. They're actually really, really cool. Um, my locals just actually got them in and uh, have the Aichi Sendo one that uh, my girlfriend Marissa actually purchased and she let me open for the channel and I bought the Toshiki Kai. Uh, one because I'm the Kagero fan. It's really really sweet that um, they're basically starting over with the format So it's basically like a whole new game um, To get into with uh, effects that remind us of the older ones, but you know also keep it kind of Competitive that you can mix in with the premium stuff and whatnot But you get basically four of each card with each trial deck. I love that they put Alfred early on the back for the um, Royal Paladin one, and they put uh, Dragon Armor Knight on the back of the uh, Kagura one. But the, very, very nice that you get basically four of everything, like I said. So let's go ahead and open them up. You get the foil cards as well that we'll go through. I also don't want to damage the boxes, that's why I have the exacto knife. But we'll go ahead and open up the Royal Paladin one first on camera for you guys. And we got these trial decks this weekend, and then about another weekend we'll get the pre-release for Q4, so that'll be sweet as well. Um, with each one you also get, uh, I think this is the first guide, just like the beginner guide again, for everyone to know the standard rules of Vanguard. And we also have the playmats, pretty standard as well, instead of the... Um, what is it? The G zone. We have the imaginary GIF zone as well, which basically looks like the stride zone. You could use it for both, honestly, if you wanted. And then looks like they uh, have brand new shape of plastic. It looks like too, which you can see. And the chance to pull sign cards as well as uh, sign gift markers with each one as well. So we'll carefully slide off the plastic from the Royal Paladin one. So with the Royal Paladin ones, I'm guessing they'll have the signed one below it as well. You have the foil blaster blade, which looks very, very nice. Uh, great homage to the original art off of that. And oh, nice. It looks like we actually pulled from uh, Marissa's deck the blaster blade signed promo it has the xp the sp texture as well in that foil which i don't think they've ever done this before with uh sign cards from the trial deck so that's a nice touch as well you can also see it's got the autograph from aichi sendo as well on the deck so definitely a very very nice touch for those wanting to play set out their blaster blades and then you get four blaster blades with each trial deck which is very very nice as well um, the alternate arts so if you you know don't get all foil you at least have you know the unique art style for this one so you get four of them and for those of you who don't know they did change his effect and his power so it's a 10k now if you have four more rear guards this unit gets a critical on the vanguard and vanguard or rear when this unit is placed you can uh counter blast uh, one and soul blast one choose one of your opponent's rear guards in the front row retire it so pretty awesome effect as well all around for blaster blade a uh, great way to keep up um his effect basically we also have the new alfred early so this is a card where when placed you counter blast one uh, call up to one Blaster Blade from your hand or soul to rear, and it gets plus 10,000 to the end of the turn. If you called, you draw a card, so it makes up for the call as well. I think we get uh, three Alfred Earlies, I believe, um, in there. And then we also have the uh, four Star Drive Dragons. So this is like kind of the generic uh, plus five when it attacks if you have three or more rear guards. And keep moving out of the camera frame. Sorry about that. We get. For Knight of Silence Galatine, this is a 10k grade 2, pretty standard for Galatine, but also new 10k shields because they bumped up all the numbers for all of the different cards now. Careful there. And we have Sage of Arts Geron, which is the 10k grade 2 as well, with a uh, plus 5 ability and also a different shield, so that's kind of like how they're balancing them out. Here we have Wingle with uh, 3 of that. And we have Knight of Squire Allen. We've got three Allen. And we've got Strong Knight Renoria. Uh, for those who didn't see Allen. And Wingle. Wingle has a power effect based on Blaster Blade. And Allen has a call effect with a draw power as well. So both definitely good cards. We get the four perfect guards, which are perfect guards with different um, powers now, seven. But um, we get these basically in the trial decks and then rares in the booster pack with the... Um, actual 
uh, new draw trigger perfect guards being in these sets as double rares. And two Auspice Owl, it's a rest and power unit. And we have our starter, which is Glyme. This is a when wrote upon draw card. So all the um, clans are basically getting this easy to use starter uh, for their beginning starters. And then for the triggers, we have Bringer of Luck Epona. Critical triggers have 15k shields now as well. Um, four Flogel, no stand triggers, only the Excel decks get the front triggers as well. So uh, basic eight crit, four draw, four heals for both of these trial decks. Four Margol, without an effect, but um, same shield and everything as well for the draw triggers. And then four Yggdrasil Maiden Elaine. So these are the uh, heals with now 20 shields. So kind of makes up for them not being you know the G guards with that extra shield plus. But, you know, still a very nice touch to them. And it looks like they might have put the foils in the back of the trial deck. So we have the, I thought they did, yeah, I was confused when we didn't see them there. We have the triple rare foil Alfred Early and the triple rare foil Knight Squire Allen. So very, very nice there. And here are the imaginary gifts. We get three to use with all the different ones you have. We have, uh, when for this trial deck, imaginary gift force, which is the blue imaginary gifts. One with the blaster blade art. And they actually don't have the imaginary gift backs, just like they did with Stride, sadly. I would have loved if they did that, though, because um, my question is, you know, when we have Protect, it goes to your hand. So I thought they wanted to be able to differentiate in your hand which gift you had, but I guess not. But depending, <coughs> excuse me, which one you wanted to use, both do look very nice, depending on which ones you wanted to collect up. But that's it for the uh, Aichi Sendo trial deck. Let's go ahead and move on to my personal favorite, the Toshiki Kai trial deck with Dragonic Overlord. So we'll basically just carefully cut the deck open and see what we got. So we have the same contents as before, the first guide and the playmat. And then we also have, as soon as we can get open, we have the trial deck with Dragonic Overlord on the front. So let's go ahead. We have Dragonic Overlord. And up, oh, nice. We actually do have two foil finishes for them. I didn't know they did that. But that is interesting for sure. Nice. And we have uh, the two normal versions. So I actually didn't know that they would give us two different foil versions, even though it's not the signed card. So you could go full foil with the Dragonic Overlords with just two trial decks. Awesome. And I don't know which one I actually prefer for the art. They both do look nice. But the Dragonic Overlord effect is a Soul Blast 1. This unit gets plus 10,000 till the end of the turn, so once per turn, but with force, putting it at 33,000 total. And when this unit attack hits, you counter Blast 1, discard two cards, uh, stand this unit, and it gets Drive minus 1 until the end of the turn. So you get four of those. And we also have four Crested Dragon. So... Uh, this is the new grade three as well. Same, but your opponent has to have three or less rear guards for this one to get power. And we have Dragon Armored Knight when it attacks a Vanguard. If your opponent has three or less rear guards, this unit gets plus 5,000. So it basically mirrors the um, Royal Paladin deck with effects based on what would be preferred for, you know, Kagero, obviously. And then we have four Dragon Knight Nahalm. So the Dragon Knight Nahalm. Uh, grade 2 uh, with a retire effect for a counter blast 1 and plus 5,000 power. We have Embodiment of the Shield Lom, which I have to remember which one of these are actually, you know, old units and which ones are still brand new ones made from the manga. But same 10k shield and then 10k power. For the perfect guards for Kagero, we have Guard Griffin, so four of these as well. And we have Dragon Monk Gojo uh, with a boost ability for plus 3, uh, 8k power as well. 10k shield and we have embodiment of armor bar again we get three of those as well or we'll have to see at the end what the foils will be uh dragon knight burge this is a uh, plus 10,000 power unit for the grade ones and then for your starters we have lizard runner undo so this is the original star that kai used so we didn't get um trumpeteer for aichi he had glee i believe in the manga so that's what they kept for him with the draw effect and we have embodiment of the spear tar we get four of those triggers and four demonic dragon mage raksha or rakasha for the other critical for the draw trigger we have red gem carbuncle we got four of those and then for our heal we have dragon monk genjo 
so the original heal trigger for Kagura as well. And now for the foils that we get, we have Dragon Armored Knight, so foil version, and we have Embodiment of Armor Bar, and we also have uh, Imaginary Gift Force, Imaginary Gift Force as well, and oh nice, I was actually hoping we would pull this. This is the signed Force Gift from the Trial Deck. You can either get the signed card or the signed Force Gift, I believe, so very, very nice that we got this out of the Kagura Trial Deck. Very happy about that. Awesome. Definitely would love to get a full set of signed ones for Imaginary Gift Force, that's for sure. But that was a look at both of the new trial decks coming out for the new format of Card Fight Vanguard. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Once again, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And until next time, Kira Qualia out.